James, a win in the quarterfinals of the SPFL Trust Trophy. Talk us through the 90 minutes. Um, a game I think we, we made real hard work of in terms of not, not converting our chances. For again, we were back to back to the levels of creating chances. We're playing with real intensity, so credit to the players for that. There, there was some, some good stuff um, in that game and, and it should have been a lot more comfortable. Ultimately, we got the win. Um, we've seen... Just with a team in our league um, tonight in Air United losing to a, a, a Lowland League team. So these games are difficult and, and always the underdog, I know Aloha are, Aloha are doing really well in their league. It's, it was always going to be a tricky tie. They had a fancy coming here um, and, and try to get into the semi-final. But look, we should have been... We should have been a lot more comfortable in terms of the score sheet, but in terms of the game, I thought we were very rarely troubled. Toby didn't have a lot to do, um, and that was down to the intensity the, the, the players worked at and pressed at. And, and just pro probably my gut feeling and, and my emotional feeling is, is probably gutted for them, the fact that they never got got out the game in terms of the goals that, that I felt they merited, but delighted that, that we're in the next round of the Cup, as I've said for day one, so it's not just because we're, we're now in the semi-finals, I've said it for the first round, that we're, we're de we were desperate to get a run in this Cup and go on and try and win it, so that's another step in, in that direction now, we dust ourselves down and we move on to Saturday. You must have been pleased that come half-time we'd capitalised on the dominance in the territory we had in the first half, real composure from Lewis McCann to, to slot away. Yeah, it was a really good goal. Um, good play for you and Otto and Kieran and Gwenya. And, and it's a great finish from Lewis. Well, I was pleased with the performance. Um, not Obviously, you need the goals to go with it. But I was pleased with the way the, with the change of shape as well, which which was decent. It worked for us in the second half on, on Saturday as well. And then uh, there were a lot of good stuff in the game. And and the goal, the goal was a really good quality goal as well. So... No, that, that was pleasing and and then the message in the second half was to go out and, and keep creating the chances and try, and try and be more comfortable in the game. It didn't materialise that way but what we did show was a, a real resilience not to not to concede, particularly at the end like, where there's goalkeepers coming into the box, there's a bit of, a bit of mayhem getting caused but the, the players remained calmed and they, like, they got the, the result um, in the win and, and we move on now to Saturday. As you mentioned there, the clean sheet, the uh um, determination to keep the ball out of the net and difficult weather conditions tonight. How pleased are you for the, the defence, the goalkeeper, that when they are going through things like the fog and things like that, that they're able to be so organised and so well disciplined? Yeah, look, for me, I, that's a hard one to answer. I wasn't on the pitch. I don't think the weather or, or the condition. I thought it was a good night for football. The pitch was excellent. It was slick. You could see that with the way we moved the ball and, and particularly the goal was a really well well worked goal but it was a real high intensity move so no look in terms of what they had to do I don't think um, the defence or the team had to do much defending at all apart from at the very end when when as I said everything gets gets thrown at you um, and Alo have every right to do that they were desperate to get into the semi-final as well so in those moments I think it's key that you're, you're concentrated and you do your job and, and that's what we had stressed to the players we know that one of the threats that Aloha would, would cause is a, they're a big team that, and then they've got good delivery from set plays that, that we were going to have to defend their box. And, and the amount, I think they maybe had, I don't know how many corners they had, but we dealt with them pretty comfortably. And then at the end, as I say, the only probably nervousness from from the sideline is the fact it's only 1-0 and then you're just you're just hoping they do their job and, and they've done that. So the players deserve a lot of credit for that. And as you mentioned in your earlier answers on to Saturday now against the Adrianians back here at KDM Group East End Park and just looking to, to replicate tonight's performance levels once again. Yeah, exactly that. Um, as I say, I was critical of the first half performance on Saturday, but we were really good in the second half. Ultimately, we came away with nothing. I think we, we performed really well today, or t tonight, sorry. And... And the positive thing here is that we're creating loads of chances, and in and, and that I mean, good chances. Now we need to we need to do the work. We need to find the the way of converting more of those chances because there's been a lot of games this season we should have been a lot more comfortable in, or games we've lost that we we should have took not not just one point. And, and I'm, I'm being honest in my opinion here, we should have took there's games that we've lost that with the chances we've had we should have won. But but 
and that's uh, the big thing. We, we need to start taking those chances. We need to do the work to 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 keep keep creating them, but we also need to to do the work to start converting those chances because the the, the lads are they're playing a lot of good stuff and. And that's evident in the chances are creating. They're, they're really good chances. So now, look, we move that on to Saturday. We'll recover, um, and then we'll we'll start the work for Airdrie coming here on Saturday, which will be a tough game.